Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 481. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 41 to 483. Hey, in this trick here, we want to um, we want to put something in this cell, multiply, divide, plus or minus, and have it change the actual formula. So if we put a one here, we want our formula to say that cell times this one. However, if that would be if there's a 1 there. If there's a 2 there, we want it to automatically switch to divide. All right, the first thing is, why don't we go ahead and put data validation with the numbers 1, 2, 3, so we can simply use a drop down right here. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for data validation, Alt DL. We don't want to allow any value, we want to allow a list. Now usually we click and have a source, but you don't have to do that. You can type anything you want here separated by comma. So I'm going to put 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4. OK. Now I can select whatever I want. Now the formula here, four different formulas. It's kind of like an if, except for instead of doing an if, we can use choose. Now choose is cool. Very useful. The index number in choose has to be a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, however many value arguments you have. So we have four different formulas. So um, index input here can be 1 to 4, right? So I'm going to click on this cell right here. And then comma, the value, well, the thing that's so cool about choose is it can be text, in quotes, a number, a formula, a function, a, or a defined name. So value, I'm simply going to say this cell times this cell right here. Now why did I do times first? Because 1 equals time 2, so the order of how you put arguments in for value 1, value 2, value 3 relate to the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Now watch this, I'm going to copy that comma and that, control C, and then I'm going to very carefully click there and go Control V, V, V. And I'm simply going to change, since 2 is division, I'm going to change the second one, divide, the third one plus, and the final one is going to be minus, just in accordance with that. So see, this last one has a minus, and that's the fourth value. Now I close parentheses, Control Enter, is 10 divided by uh, 100 divided by 10, 10? Sure it is. How about if I go multiply? Yep, that's 1,000. How about uh, adding 110? And finally, number 4 would be subtraction. All right, using choose to put different operators into a formula. We'll see you next trick.